Have you ever looked at a design like this and wondered how it was done? Let's take a closer look at how the Intersect tool in Leonardo Design Studio makes placing photos inside letters a quick and easy process, no matter your skill level. To begin, decide what you would like your design to say and the image you want to use. From there, start with a fresh artboard and simply open the type tool located in the bottom navigation bar, type your word, and choose a font. For instances like this, thick, bulky fonts like this one work best since they provide a bigger area for the photo to fill. If using a photo with family, friends, or pets, it is best to stick with photos that have only one or two faces for easier placement. Once you have found the perfect font, click Apply. For this project, we wanted to add a little flair to our text using the Flag Warp tool. This step is entirely optional, so feel free to skip ahead to the next step if it suits your project better. Using the bottom navigation bar once more, locate and click the Flag Warp icon here. Clicking multiple times on this icon continues to warp the text automatically. You can also manually fine tune by dragging the handles and anchor points on the letters like this. With the warp completed, we can move on to adding a photo. Simply open the desired photo from your desktop using File, Import. From here, Leonardo will ask you how you would like to use this image, whether it be a print and cut or a background image. The print and cut option is used when we want to use the elements within the photo itself to tell the machine where to cut. For this project, we want the machine to use the letters we created when cutting, so we will choose background image instead. If needed, you can also change the quality of the image in the resolution dropdown here. When ready, click next and the image will open within the design space. Resize to fit by holding shift and dragging a corner of the image or by entering a value in the properties panel. Notice that your image is now inside of the registration marks and can be moved around until you're happy with the placement. Before using the intersect tool, we need to ensure that our layers are in the correct order. The bottom layer needs to be the photo and the top layer, the letters. To do this, select the image, right click, and choose send to back. You'll notice that the text now appears on top of the image. To complete the process, Align and size the text to the section of the photo you want shown. Highlight both pieces and locate the Intersect tool within the bottom navigation bar. Once this icon is clicked, the photo and text combine automatically. From here, we just need to create the lines for the machine to cut by clicking the Build Contours icon. From the pop-up window, you can leave the default settings and click Apply or add a border by increasing the offset number here. With that, you're ready to print and cut your custom photo design. To learn more about this and other features available, check out our other tutorial videos that can be found on YouTube and within the Leonardo Tutorial tab.